You are a little bit a movie, isn't it? Yeah, I'm making a movie. Do you want to say hi? Huh? Do you want to say hello? Hello, how are you today? <laughs> can you speak Thai? Can you speak Thai? I can say Swatika. Swatika. Kapkunka. 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 You are a lady. Kapkunka. Not Kap. Kapkunka. Swatika. We we already did. Did you stay only in Bangkok? Yeah, all done. Uh, we've been to Chiang Mai and Koh Samui. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let have you see floating market yet? We've been yes. to the floating market. Yeah. All, all yeah. yeah. Outside Bangkok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what the railway you? market. Yeah. Oh, yesterday you went there. No, like over a week ago. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. <laughs> So we are currently in the Grand Palace and it's absolutely beautiful but we've had to uh, sit down literally one minute into coming in here because it's, what was it, 33? Yeah. 33 degrees, feels like 41 degrees and we are dressed in like normal clothes I'll say. We have to. We have to for the temple, have our shoulders covered and our, like our knees covered. So I've got my like elephant trousers my t-shirt and we're both completely like shattered because it's so hot but it's absolutely beautiful we have an hour until it closes so we've got just enough time i think to explore more ground there's a particular buddhist festival or something going on today that's why it's i think quite busy and uh, i think probably why it closes a bit earlier so uh, yeah we're gonna go explore when i think we have the energy right now i'm not sure if i've got the energy <laughs> Okay, so we have mustered up some energy to finally start exploring and okay. what I will say is just this, I've never seen anything like this before. I feel like I've been saying this so many times on this trip that I've never seen anything like this before but truly Thailand is one of the most beautiful places ever. And we we're just saying in the tuk-tuk, like it's like literally my favourite country. The people make this country what it is and the people are the most kindest, caring, welcoming, smiliest people I've ever met and I feel like we should all take a lot of lessons from the way Thai people live their lives and I certainly will be uh, in terms of just like so much more gratitude and just like being happy and just smiling it helps so much um, so yeah we're just exploring now look how beautiful you can see it all behind me wow <laughs> This is the most hot I think I've felt the whole time here. Easily. Like we're walking sweat balls. Like I feel so uncomfortable <laughs> and sweaty. It's a bit TMI, degrees. but. And we have to be fully clothed, so it just adds to it. I just forget every time. Like, I feel like it's like false reality when you go into a hotel and it's like aircon and then you come back out into the oven the real world and it's like literally stepping into a sauna like this is what it feels like being in a sauna <laughs> it's like so 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 hot we're just gonna go explore the other side now of the grand palace i feel like i keep wanting to call it a grand temple why am i why am i like this why it's not a grand temple it's a grand palace current situation stood with my face in front of a fan because it's too hot this is actually crazy oh my god <laughs> this is crazy this is the hot I think one of the hottest I've ever been without a shadow of a doubt I literally can't bring myself to move like I don't know if I can stand up from that warm it's the realities of traveling in Thailand when it's... Is it the hot season? Isn't it always the hot season? It's going into the wet season. It's very humid. It's so humid. So hot. But, I mean, there's better... There's, sorry, there's, there could be worse places, sorry, to be in this heat than the Grand Palace. Like, this is pretty insane.
Okay, so we are now leaving the Grand Palace and the plan of action is to get some ice cream, to go in the pool and uh, just to sort of relax the rest of the day. Georgie is heading home this evening, her flight's at 9pm and then I'm staying in Bangkok for another three days. Um, so I'm going to be basically chilling tomorrow, I've got a tour booked for the next day and then I'm not too sure what I'll do the day after, uh, but I'll keep myself busy. Uh, but yeah, plan of action, <laughs> cool down, have some ice cream and head to the swimming pool. There. Yeah. Oh, that when you leave Thailand soon tomorrow. I leave on Tuesday. Tuesday, go home. To go to Abu Dhabi. Oh, Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Middle East. Yeah. Bye bye Thailand. Yeah. Bye bye Thailand. Happy Thailand. <laughs> Not today. Thank you. Any program to for today? We're when? going to the swimming pool. Oh, swimming pool. It's too pool. hot. Oh, too hot. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Got the mackers. Macky days. <laughs> I can't even like express this like. <laughs> They're literally as big as my head. You have a pretty big head. Do I? <laughs> I'm trying to like look in the mirror whilst looking. They're literally the size of my face. This is just really unnecessary, and the fact that you can't order any fries smaller than XL. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I also love the fact that we've had Mackies twice in less than 24 hours. So I haven't updated you guys for a couple of hours, but Georgie has now headed to the airport to catch her flight back to Melbourne, Australia. So Georgie, if you're watching this, thank you so much for honestly the most amazing trip. Um, I will see you in Australia or Bali or Bristol, uh, one of those three. But yeah, what an amazing couple of weeks we've had traveling. It's just been insane, had the best time. Um, but now I'm just waiting in the lobby to meet up with Jean, who is another travel vlogger. He's here in Thailand making some videos. So we're gonna catch up and go to a bar called Vertigo. I'm in an area of Bangkok that I haven't been to before so it's really cool to explore this area um, but yeah that's basically what's been going going on over the past couple of hours we just went for a swim in the pool uh, and then said uh, goodbye to Georgie and then I've just got a taxi to this hotel so yeah I'll speak to you guys in a little bit okay we are here at the Vertico bar here in Bangkok and it's absolutely unreal <laughs> So I'm here at the Vertico Bar here in Bangkok um, and it's just, <laughs> I literally don't have words, like look, check this out. So I've just finished meeting up with Sean and Mauricio and it was so fantastic to chat about all things travel and YouTube on this amazing rooftop bar here in Bangkok. What an incredible experience that was and it was so lovely to meet them both. So I'm now heading, uh, well I'm walking, sort of walking back to where I'm staying, um, but trying to see some uh, sort of night markets on my way back and then I'm going to get a taxi for the rest of the way as it's a pretty long way back if I was going to walk to my hotel. Um, but yeah, what a lovely evening it has been and uh, yeah, um, it makes me even more excited just to like film as much content and to hopefully achieve my goal of becoming a travel vlogger. I just walked to a completely different area of Bangkok but I have no idea where I am. So I've got myself in a tuk-tuk and I'm heading back to Koh Samrone, which is more familiar territory for me. I've tried to find a really cool market that John has told me about but I just, my sense of direction is awful so I just could not find it. So now I'm heading back to Koh Samrone in a tuk-tuk and uh, yeah, I'm going to grab some food and I'm going to grab a foot massage as well because why not? <laughs> I'm going to treat myself and then I'm going to head back to the hotel, pretend to grab a bit of an early night and then wake up tomorrow and have a bit of an average day. 